Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the functional knee examination where we're using kinesiology, neurology to look at the, the function of the muscles. So this is more about de less about deconditioning and more about the neurologic function of the muscles. So we're looking for weaknesses, but it's really a muscle inhibition. So the knee joint does flexion and extension, and then it does rotation in and rotation out. So if you're having pain with running, a lot of times you're looking at this uh, symmetry, um, in and out. If you have pain going downstairs, it's usually something in the quadriceps. And if it's pain going up the stairs, it's usually glutes, since that's more hip extension as you're coming up the stairs. So we'll just run through the tests real quick. The rectus femoris is just pushing straight down to the table. And that's the big muscle. It's actually a hip flexor, but it comes down into the... And then to isolate the three quadricep muscles, you've got that bundle here and then on the outside. The middle one just kicks straight up. So you just push up towards the ceiling. And the medial one holds into the knee. That's how we do the test, and this one holds away from the knee, and so we're kind of still doing knee extension there. So that's the entire quadriceps. The inside of the leg, if we're having medial knee instability or pain, um, we've got the sartorius gracilis muscles, and those are primarily adductors. So this one, we just put the toes together and then pull straight out. That's the gracilis and the sartorius crosses the leg and we try to straighten the leg out. ITB syndrome, which is the TFL, tensor fascia lata, on the outside of the leg, starts way up in the hip and then crosses the knee joint and stabilizes that lateral knee. And this one, you turn the toe in and push up and out. And that's strong. You don't have any knee pain, right? No. The hamstring has a couple different muscles um, so we want to isolate the outer side, because sometimes if it's a you know, more local injury to one part of it, if we test the hamstring generally, kind of right in the midline, where the foot is straight in the middle, we'll miss a little bit of weakness, but if we pull it out, turn the foot out, we isolate that lateral hamstring, and then bring it in, turn the foot in, we get a little bit more of the medial, and if we flatten the foot, same thing, we can get the gastroc, the calf muscle, outside and inside, turn the foot out, and turn the foot in. And this is more related to shin splits. Um, as we get below the knee, we might group that into the knee, knee problems, though. Um, we have the toe down and in, hold there, and down and out. So those are, you know, muscles that support this function, which is part of that gait mechanism. So if you have pain when you're running or something like that. And then we have popliteus, which is a muscle right back in here that mostly turns in. So we just hold the foot in like that. And we might get the tibialis muscle here where we feel the shin splints a lot and just pull down. And we pretty much just right there tested every muscle in the knee so we should be able to find, if there is an instability and weakness, we should find it with that exam.